Good day, everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today is June 10th, 11 p.m., 11.30 p.m. It's standard time. Just want to show you for June. This is all experimentation. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So here's the top two performing sectors, commodity metal and dividend income. These are the monthly returns so far for June. Remember, this is 10 days into June 2023. 21%, 18%. So let me show you the port, uh, tear sheets for both sectors. Here's the first one. This is a commodity metal. Um, the sharp, this is going all the way back for a year. So it's struggled for a year. But um, between August, it did really well. And then it had a really nice run up between um, October to here. Went into decline. This is what I want you to pay attention to. That's for the last couple of days. You can see here the QQQ benchmark right there. You can see how fast this is steeper, much steeper than the uh, benchmark. The QQQ is a pretty well majority um, big tech, all the big tech companies, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft. Some of them also include semiconductors, but they're coming off now. But this right here is fundamental commodity metal for the states, okay? So it's doing fairly well. And here's the monthly returns to get everything here, okay? So you're up 21%, very rare time. But the question is, will this continue like a long here and some really good returns? And you can time it perfectly by subscribing to this uh, to get this every day, just to monitor this. It'll also tell you what ETFs to buy. And in fact, it will also tell you the exact timing of when to buy these. And some of them could be bearish, some of them could be bullish. So that right there is, is where the money's pouring into. And from what I'm seeing, big tech is starting to kind of flatten out. The other one that's doing very well is this one you would never think, US dividend. Look at the same thing. It's starting to really skyrocket. And look at what's happening here. What's going on in both of these. Uh, here's the monthly returns as well. So that's up 18%, very weak. But what I think is going on right now, these are uh, ETFs you can get through Interactive Brokers, world's largest uh, retail broker. What I think is going is that this is the smart money positioning into the next big phase. And you're starting to start see the early stages of it where they've gotten a nice run up from the returns of big tech, namely the, the semiconductors, uh, NVIDIA always comes to mind. What I think is going on in the U.S. economy right now is that they may be starting to gear up for uh, industrial industrialization uh, for here. And a lot of that will then end up in dividend uh, companies that have very conservative dividend uh, dividends, <laughs> dividend, dividend. But that they're, those are starting to attract because they're starting to pile into companies that issue conservative dividends, um, namely, you know, the 30 industry, but they're really not 30. If they're on the ETFs, they're usually going to comply and have already passed the, the ESG stuff. And um, I'm also able to monitor the ESG as well. Here's, here's how this works. If you want to get either one of these, uh, you can get that. I'll put that in the comments where you can uh, subscribe to it directly. But this is what you um, will get into. The first one, as I said, is a commodity. So if you want to know exactly where the hot metals are, an entire commodity, uh, silver metals, what we're talking about right now. Also, agriculture the last year has done very well, um, like really well, surprisingly well. People don't even know. Um, gold is included in that. It's not as, as strong as you think because lately the uh, markets have, the U.S. markets have, have really outperformed so gold has come off. But if the economies go bad again, which they're talking about, and in fact, a major crash towards uh, the fall, you'll be potentially positioned very well knowing that in our case for now, that silver, I don't know, metal or silver and or uh, money, the smart money is piling into into the ETFs. 
Uh, the other one in the U.S., which covers everything with the U.S., the dividend income is a big one right now. So what I just showed you, so it's a really good balance. You can get that there for that price. Now, if that's not good enough for you um, and don't want to do that, I also have something called My Watch List. And usually the My Watch List usually will outperform the um, – the standard uh, benchmark, QQQ in this case, which is pretty well the, the majority of um, of uh, what's performing. And now I'll use the best of the best. So you can see it's kind of outperforming. That started in March. You can see here it's eking it out. And uh, that's pretty good to do considering the markets have been fairly hot in the last few months. But you can see here, these are your monthly returns so far the last four months. So if you want to just follow this, you could do that, and that will rebalance to what's hot. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's if you, if you are really concerned about uh, money or whatnot, that's your best one to, to follow. So that one, again, you can get uh, under what we call I call my, my watch list as well. So. Um, yeah, right here for my watch list. So as I said, we're going to have now in all of our posts the ability to subscribe directly from within the content you see these videos uh, to join that. I'm pretty excited with how things have been working for the last couple of weeks. They've been pretty accurate. Um, also, um, this is more of the passive type of investing. It's 100% ETF. The other one that I have available is pretty pretty good too. That enables you to basically not only watch the hot ETFs, and this is where this spreadsheet comes from. Okay, among all the other sectors that I list here, there's about pretty well about sixty. But you obviously you won't only want to focus on let's say the top two, top five, depending upon the economy. Okay, so. You want to focus on those. Um, and from there, you know, you can also get the stocks as well. And those are taken out of the holdings of these ETFs. Again, these are 100% uh, available on interactive brokers. You can trade them, get in and out as much as you can. Usually you want to hang on to these because inv the investing is what's going to give you the out the outperformance, not trying to beat the market by day trading. You, you really, it's really hard to day trade this stuff in these volatile markets so that's all there if you want um yeah and if you want to know more about what what i do just subscribe and i'll have this also quantlabs.net slash books that will get you this book and that will give you access to all these items as well all for free okay so sign up and get on that and uh, we shall talk to you later thanks for watching